okay welcome back again guys i'm gonna do a simple normal distribution curve plot so i assume you're given standard deviation which is equal to one and the mean for zero so for our case we're gonna use the python programming language we have two things here involved here that means you need to have a python programming language installed in our pc for my case it's already installed so if you don't know you can just cross check on my videos i did previously on how to install this language then you need libraries the three important ones for this particular case that means you need the numpy for numbers you need a matplotlib this is for graphs then you need the scipy this is for engineering and mathematics and bear in mind this is just an open source software for library for installing this so you can always cross check and google this people install scipy this is the website here so it's an open source software for mathematics science and engineering so you can look you can read the documentation how to install either by cmd or by any other way around so for my case i'll assume that you have done that already so i'll go straight to the cake and see how we're gonna put the icing on this protein normal distribution curve so that means i'll need a notebook too to play around with my data as you know as a, either a data scientist or a programmer you need a notebook for easy working so that means i'll open my cmd the command prompt there you are so this is it so this command prompt i'll browse into my desktop i have the specific designated folder which is already for this particular task then inside inside the normal curve folder that's where we're gonna play around with my jupyter notebook so this is where i push my jupyter notebook inside so that we can play around and plot our normal distribution curve so it will open the jupyter notebook in a default browser for my case is google chrome then straight to the point that means i'll go for the new notebook python 3 of course yes i'll start by commenting now creating a simple normal distribution curve then let's get our hands dirty by importing numpy as i told you earlier i need this installed already numpy import matplotlib matplotlib dot pyplot as plt then the scipy we're calling it from scipy dot stats import norm as normal then there you are so now i'm gonna create a spacing of a particular normal distribution curve so we need to make it visually impressive so for instance i'll call it bell curve so let me comment first here so that to enable the user to understand what i'm writing here so i uh, mean creating assigning sorry assigning uh, assigning values assigning sorry values in our normal curve that means we'll call it bell curve for instance we are assigning it as a variable bell curve equals to np the spacing line space there you are then for instance i'll assume it starts from negative two to two then you have maybe a thousand five hundred points there you are so there's another procedure is now to create creation 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 of our plot which is bell curve for our case so there you are so that means i'll just plt dot plot i'll call the command then what's the domain i mean what's the name what's that name of that bell curve or something so i'll just call it bell curve bell curve comma normal dot pdf it's been pdf and bracket then what is it it is bell curve here then the spacing now we need to look at our question our task that means in our need the mean of zero and the standard deviation of one so let us get back the mean is zero then it goes with standard deviation of one so this is it so make sure the brackets one two and here the brackets one two there you are so let us now plot it before plotting it let us give it plt dot title to title like a simple a simple distribution curve distribution curve simple distribution curve then let us give it the x and y label plt dot x label so these are for instance student student values 
then the, the same case for the y, g dot y label, label, let us call them, for instance, data, just like that. Then let us give it a title x label. There you are, then we can show it now in our visual progressive graph. So here we are done on creating some few lines of code so that now we can hit a run button and see how things work out. So upon hitting, you need to wait for it. See, this is a simple distribution curve. See, the mean is here zero, then this is our data and these are student values. So you can do some manipulation here, for instance, you can add some grid so that for, for just an impression view, grid, I mean grid lines, so when you run, you see it has grid lines now, so as to, for easy marking. So you can add the color, for instance, to change this color of this distribution curve. So for my case, I put color equals, let us go for red. Red. There you are. So when I click run here, there you are, you're done. So the data starts from negative 2 to 2. So for instance, negative 2 to 2. The mean is 0, 0.0. So that's it. So thank you for listening. Hope you have enjoyed can always subscribe and enjoy more videos for Python and other areas of engineering. Thank you a lot. Have a good day.